come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a weekly movie review podcast. Comes your way every Saturday night in our quest for total world domination. You can help us in that by uh, giving us a like, a star rating, or a review wherever you found us. That helps us get found, or we sift upwards through the algorithms toward... Can you sift upwards? Is that can you? You sift downwards? I think you just sift through. We sift through the algorithm. Side to side when you're sifting. I don't in an you go upward up. motion as we float to the top to become the fastest growing internet podcast of all time. Let's talk about sifting more. <laughs> all right. So who are these internet radio superstars? Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Sean. What the fuck did you do to us tonight? Uh, I mean, uh, this was also uh, self-imposed uh, harm, I know, I, I know. Uh, I, we watched, I, I can't hold it against you. You also have not seen this. Not this. Uh, okay. We watched a movie called The Baby. The Baby. The Baby. <laughs> the Baby. Baby. What year was The Baby made? 1973. And who directed The Baby? Ted Post. And that sounds like a fake Who is name. Ted Post? Yeah. Uh, Ted Post is a, well, he's a director. What was the other movie we saw? We were looking through his filmography that he did. Well, he um, did two that I was familiar with. Yeah. Uh, Magnum Force, which is right, the Magnum second Force. Dirty Harry movie. Yes. And also Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Yes, he did. Which I think was the second Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, he's a he sequel did. guy. He no wonder why Sean high. picked him. Well, yeah. he's done like a bunch of other stuff. I, like, I remember his name... It seems like he was a TV episode yeah, director. He like, was. Did a Just lot of Ted stuff. Post showed up in a lot of TV yeah, credits. Yeah. 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 But uh, we were trying to figure out did we ever find out is Ted Post, like, did he change his name from Polsky? Because <laughs> there's at least three Polskys involved in this movie. Art Polsky's the writer. It's a family affair. Milton and oh. who was the other one produced it? Gross. <laughs> 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 Uh, I didn't write this movie, guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you changed his name. I'd fucking change my name to do this uh, he's movie. Ted Post. Yeah. It's just, he's Ted Post is Ted Post. Right, Ted Post. The Ted Post. The Ted Post. Oh, congratulations, Ted. <laughs> on this In movie? Your, uh, Good for you. The you baby. The baby. So, it's um, the baby. It just feels like how you need to say this. Well, this, yeah, you gotta see the baby. I kind of want to like take the footage from this movie and cut a trailer where it's like a like a comedy, like a jaunty like family comedy. You could do it's it with the, the music baby. from this movie. Yeah, yeah, like I I think it'd be really easy to do, honestly. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. baby. Well, we first became aware of this movie because uh, how, Sean? Uh, I'm pretty sure a couple years ago during uh, a listener's pick month, this is one of the movies that got put on the list. Uh, oh. Somebody recommended it. We should probably remind people. Oh, right now, this is your final week, month. I think, yes, to vote on your listener pick. We're going to watch four movies chosen by you in January. Mm -hmm. So head on over to our Facebook page. Vote. It's uh, Saturday. Uh, it's uh, our Facebook page. Dot com slash Saturday Freak Show. And uh, click on the link for to vote now. Yes. Yeah. Top four. That's so what we're, we're watching. watching them. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, game the system, whatever you got to do, vote for your favorite. So somebody a couple years ago suggested the baby. The baby. And we, we watched watch the trailer. It. No, we didn't watch it. We watched the trailer for it that day. And holy yeah. shit. And Sean has never been the same since. I haven't because it's always been on my mind. After watching, it has. It has constantly been on my mind. I'm like, should we watch the baby? Is it time to watch the baby? I don't know. I don't think we should watch the baby. The baby. Out of the baby. And then it came to shudder. Thank God for Shutter. And uh, people started talking people about it. People started right? talking yeah. about it. There was a there was a little wave of talk on Twitter and everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought uh, I thought this is time to bring the baby. I got to say the artwork on Shutter's fucking fantastic for this. That's it's, the poster. That's is the it? Okay, the it's, poster. Yeah. it's great. That'll draw fucking you in. Fucking love it. Yeah. Is it an accurate poster? Uh, uh kind of. I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. I think pretty accurate. Yeah. It's one of those painted jobbies. It's like all white and it shows uh, like a crib. There's a woman standing over a crib. There's adult uh, legs. Yeah. Like legs and hanging over the crib. With an axe yeah. hanging out of it. Yeah. 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 And you're like, what the hell? Yeah. What Did it hell? say something like, do not disturb the baby? I'm no, sure it no. had a tagline I somewhere. But well, We should have looked that up. Maybe Sean will, you know, because it was his movie. Yeah. What's a tagline for this movie? Um, 
Yeah. So this is, uh, so, I mean, all four of us then went into this kind of blind tonight. So that's what you're, and hopefully at home you're playing along. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have just watched The Baby. It's also out from Arrow Films, I think. They did the, uh, the restoration there because it looked like, uh, you know, it looked all, all prettied up. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. The same people that brought us Blood Rage restored yeah. on Blu ray yeah. also brought us Got the, baby. the baby. All right. Taglines. I know. I'm forever left out. Oh, I know. For- <laughs> I know. Uh, Taglines. <laughs> uh, horror is his formula. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of love it. Uh, uh, I would uh, like that if it was accurate. Right. All right. What well, there's multiple. Okay. Uh, what goes on in this nursery isn't for kids. Oh god, that's, 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 that's accurate. Saw. That's, yeah, a, okay. that's okay. unfortunately okay. accurate. That's fucking disgustingly accurate. I, I like this one. Pray you don't learn the secret of the baby. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> I like that one because that's a trailer very, line. That's very like fifties drive-in. Right. Yeah, I like that. That's a trailer yeah. line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing in this nursery rhymes. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> that yeah. Well, someone, someone was dead. That that's one. why it's fourth down. Someone's <laughs> reaching with that one. Uh, three, four, close, close the door. I don't get that one. All right. uh, I'm sure you were doing a nursery rhyme. There shall be mayhem wherever he goes. These get bad as they okay. go down. Oh, okay. All right. We, 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 All right. We already heard the best. Horror is his formula. Or, yeah. <laughs> and we what goes on chance. in this nursery isn't for kids. Yeah. Oh. And pray you don't learn the secret of All right. baby. So, I mean, do you know anything about how we got this movie? Like, what was going on in the water in 1973 that uh, people were like, you know, this is, uh, I got this idea for a movie. You know? Yeah, what sick fuck thought of this movie? T- t- well, that's Art Abe. Polsky. Abe, Abe, the Polsky, Polsky family. Uh huh. <laughs> the Polsky the, family. The fact that a family thought of this makes I mean, it even more disturbing. That's well, maybe true. Abe thought it up, and Milton and uh, the other Polsky were like, "Well, we have some cash." If one of my family members thought of this, I would be like, "No, we're not fucking making that, you sick fuck." Really? Yes. It's not like a commercial idea. This is going to be like you're intrigued. I was intrigued by the poster. What goes on yeah. in this nursery isn't for kids. I think this is. Pretty standard for nineteen seven early nineteen yeah, seventies. Like uh, yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence that this movie came out the year Roe versus Wade was decided. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this a <laughs> pro-abortion movie? I think that it's. I don't know if it's pro-abortion. I think it's. I don't want. I don't know. I don't really want to say pro-choice either, but the the mom uses a lot of pro-choice language. Mm. Mm. I'm just saying, like, if you're talking about what's going on culturally at the time, that's the same year so you're saying it's it's on everyone's mind Mm -hmm. and it's coming out in the content of Mm -hmm. the movie whether it's a conscious effort or not exactly i got Mm -hmm. you exactly i got you i know ted post had to be really convinced to make this movie yeah i think it took you don't uh, say i think it took like a year to convince ted post to make this movie because he's like i don't know this is maybe a little too dark (laughs) well ted post well and what's your audience for this what is Just, your audience for this? That is the question. <laughs> like, where does mothers. the money come from for this? Me, like, I'm I'm the audience for this. Like, I was, I was intrigued that, as all hell. I like, mean, that when poster you said is enough. You're bringing the baby. I'm right. like, ooh, ooh, I'm looking forward to this. We're watching the yeah. baby. You know, now that you say that, not, okay, if it, in 2019 I saw a trailer for a movie like this, I'd definitely be going yeah, to see it. You can't right? deny <laughs> the appeal. We'd be going on a freak show field trip right. if this movie was coming out in 2019. Like, I, you can't believe this is coming out. You see yeah. the trailer for this movie for called The, the Baby? baby? Uh uh-huh. All right. Well, we're gonna, we are going to spoil this. So if you haven't seen it, uh, you are forewarned. Otherwise, we're going to give you vivid descriptions of the movie. So maybe you won't even have to see it. Who knows? We'll we'll tell you whether we recommend it at the end of the show. Um, we're going to go around the room and do that. Um, okay. So uh, is it a secret? Is the movie? I mean, I guess it's the spoiled in the advertising. I mean, yeah. we know who the baby is, right? I mean, that's pretty much given to you, like right out off the bat in the movie right Mm -hmm. right okay so i suppose we can say this the baby is an adult uh man supposed to be 21 years old who is developmentally challenged and is a baby yes in mentally a baby in every shape way and form yeah a baby what was this guy's Mm -hmm. name his last name was like man it's manzy it's uh yeah i think he goes by moody now but he's like dan manzy or something his last name was manzy and we had a good laugh about that yeah Yeah. we did or david manzy (laughs) i think think it's david manzy um so david manzy wears a onesie (laughs) 
well, most of this movie. Because this is where you're going to get into like the, uh, I suppose this is like, you know, it's like a psychological horror movie or something. Definitely. Like that. You're going to get into the. Were you guys psychologically horrified? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There, <laughs> um, there was a point uh, watching this where I said, spoken. I think this might be the most disturbing movie I've ever watched. It's, yeah. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah. 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 Psychologically. Yep. Disturbing, horrifying. not not horrifying, disturbing. Yes. Like. I I am a there different is, person now. Oof, really? I can't I can't unsee what I just fucking saw. Oh, wow! Like oh, I, wow. Think, I think you may have forgotten because there's a there's a tiny bit of a lull in, in near the middle end of this yeah. movie. But the before be- that, it starts. It, this was it, fucked up. You it throws have, you right in the fucking yeah, deep end of really this movie. Does. You may have gotten lost in the party. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, that was a very long party. But before the party, gears? some yeah. shit went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It um, really did. All right, so the the movie is about a um. She's a social worker. Yes. Her Anne. name is Anne. Uh, and she is assigned a new case. Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. The Woolersheim. Wadsworth. The Wadsworth, the Wadsworth, the Wadsworth baby. baby, as it says on the folder that is being carried around. Right. It's the Wadsworth so baby. She hikes out to this house. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's a nice, uh, what do you call it? Like gothic uh, mansion, yeah. mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah, it's, it's a nice house. Big. Nice house. Which is occupied by three women. Mm hmm. Um, and their hair, and their yes. hair. mostly their hair. And mostly their, their, their hair. Their, yeah. Each have thirty pounds of hair. Yes, Jermaine mm-hmm. is this close to being cousin it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It was it was kind of amazing as we meet the. Oh, well, yeah. Well, her neck muscles must yeah. be insane to, to the, hold that the shit up. Seriously, who these people are. Um, but basically, they have uh, a baby brother, and uh, it is discovered fairly early. Like I said, that baby brother is actually. An adult. A 21-year-old baby. Yeah, in uh, this gigantic crib yes. upstairs. So, okay, so who are these these women? Because, I mean, I thought I, there is a movie called The House of the Psychotic Women, but I thought that was an apt <laughs> uh, alternate title for this movie. Um, so what do we got going on here? What? Well, first of all, what's Anne's story? The social worker. Oh. What's going on with her? <laughs> Uh, uh, Anne's having a hard time. Uh, I think. Do we know before uh, beforehand that something has happened to her husband? We, we no. learn that after we she yeah. meets. Yeah, we don't know until the no. slideshow scene. No. She's well, saying, there was it was in the um, preceding the slideshow scene. She had a meeting with Jermaine. Yes. Where she, I'm Jermaine. I think she slipped and said something about my husband was an architect, and Jermaine's like was. Yeah. Well, no, I'm married to a, a you know. A, Really I have a guy. husband. Yeah, married to a husband. Yeah. Nice, Dependable, nice mother-in-law. Nice mother-in-law. Yeah. And you're like, but wait, wait, something. What's going the on? Early scenes in this movie when people are interacting with each other and talking to each other, there's it, it, everything is a completely off kilter. It always yes. it feels like everyone is hiding something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because everybody's just weird. You know, <laughs> yeah. no one the social normally. worker is like too, like, I really want to do, you know, see the case, you know, I yeah. want to be involved in She's this case very about the baby. Eager. Yeah. Yes. And it's then a- her, and then her reaction when she meets baby, Yes, that's where you're like, okay, something's not fucking right because she's perfectly okay. Right. With this situation. Right. And apparently there have been, other social workers before her. Yes. Yeah. Baby is a known quantity, especially around her agency. Yeah. There's stories they know of who baby is and what baby is. And is everybody okay with this or are we under the, uh, is the I logic think everybody's supposed okay. to be, well, basically it's a private, you know, uh, affair mm-hmm. and the guy isn't coming to any harm and so we can't really do anything until we can prove that they're mistreating him. Right. But they can prove it. They can fucking prove it <laughs> because they, no, they a- say they say in the fucking movie when was the last time he went to a doctor for a psychological evaluation? Oh, when he was an infant. Yes. So this man is 21 years old. Yes. And has not been to a doctor in 21 years. That's right. I thought like the whole reveal was going to be that like he was mentally totally fine. He had just been raised to be only a baby, you know which what is saying? what like, they, which is what they kept implying. Yeah, but they never really got down to that. They never committed like they one never way or another to it. If yeah. it's, they're social workers. This is a problem. Right. Well, this yeah. is this is a fucking problem. Well, this is my theory. I think that every other social worker, besides the one that went missing, which we find out, I think every other social worker thought this was the fucking weirdest thing in the world. Yeah. So, yeah. which is why they don't go there. They shove it off on so- they do. another they co-worker. They ignore it. They think it's too weird. They're mm-hmm. like, all right, whatever. I don't want to deal with this. So, 
they're able That's to get away job. with it. I know. That's your job. What but, the fuck? But one of them did her job, and she went missing. Mm-hmm. One. One. In 21 years, yep. one person did their job. It's very freaky to them. <gasps> Maybe they just didn't ever visit. You know, like they, they just said that every they six had, months. They said every six months. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. We've all had those moments at our job where we've like looked at something we've been assigned, and we're like, I don't get paid enough for this. Fuck that. <laughs> not doing that. And then just push it off on it's someone like else, or push like, it somewhere else. I did the bare minimum, which is probably once every six months you have to visit. Yeah. And so they did that, and they're just like, all right, it's good to me. Whoosh, gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For so well, long. The the, um, the ladies of the house are interesting to say the least. Say you know what? Least. I kind of you know. I wonder if this would have played better if it was set in the South, like a Southern Gothic, where it's, you know, everything, like, where it's just hot ooh, all the time. That would have made <laughs> way more just, sense. But they had, it just... almost felt that way with, you know, the plants in the house and this big, you know, yeah. the big rooms and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And they had money from, uh, they're living off of, uh, I think, mom's, what's her name? I think it was just mama. Mama's, uh, you know, there's some money that they're living off of. Yeah. Nobody has a job. They don't work. No. Um, and so I think, there's mama and the two and her two grown daughters. Right. I think it would have felt more like being like in the South if we hadn't had the party. Cause I think we got that feeling where it was just like they're, they are alone and there's, it almost feels like there's nobody surrounding them. Like, yeah. Our, the, the neighborhood is not there. Right. Yeah. Until we get to they the party. They have a little world of their own. Right. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. So it kind of feels like they're isolated until the party happens. And that's yeah. why we're all just like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Yeah. Why do so many people know about this? Yeah. Why wasn't it more of like a Boo Radley situation where they're like this legendary house in the neighborhood where like fucking freaks live and right, like yeah. don't walk past that house. That's where the fucking freak family is. Mm-hmm. Like it should have been more like more a myth built yeah. around them like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we've heard stories of the baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's where I was thinking, like, you when know. When we walk by at night, you can hear the baby crying. Because that's yeah. what would mm-hmm. happen, mm-hmm. you figure. But this movie, in the middle of it, which is where the, the, the film kind of shifted gears, um, I mean, we'll go back and talk about yeah. the pre this, but the party that we're talking about, they have a birthday party for the baby where, like, the entire neighborhood or something shows up. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, either we're going to have a whole cast of freaks here who everybody's okay with that. Everybody is somehow in on it. This is going to open the plot up and we're going to understand, like, you know, there's something else going on here. Right. But that really didn't occur. It was, yeah. like, actually yeah. just like a hip party. Yeah. And the baby was crawling around and everybody's right. fine with him. Just about 30 people who are completely clueless about mental illness. That's yep. it. Yep. They're just like, oh, well, it's a, it's a fucking big baby. Yeah. They're friends of the family, apparently. So they do get out and they have a social life. Right. Yeah. But let's, but let's, oh, yeah. They, get, oh, they hire we, babysitters like, all the time. We establish that when well, we meet the babysitter. That's what I want to get to because, you know, apparently they have babysitters for baby. Yeah. As we learned earlier on. Yeah. Could well, you imagine? No. Could you fucking Not imagine? At all. Being because, hired to babysit, and that's what you're fucking babysitting. Yeah, because you go into this, and you, as you're watching this movie, I mean, if you've only seen the trailers going into this, so they reveal right off the bat that baby is baby. And then you're kind of just like, oh, all right, because you're thrown off by people knowing about it. And then it kind of it cuts to a very funny conversation <laughs> of uh, the babysitter on the phone. Um, but uh, uh, you realize it's like, oh. He's got a babysitter, a normal <laughs> babysitter, and she thinks this is normal. So you're thrown off guard by that, too, and you're just like, uh, none of what I, was, what I was expecting to happen is happening here, and everybody seems pretty okay with this. Yeah, because they should be the ghost story for their town, right. yeah, but, but they're w- not. Almost the way that I felt, and I wondered if they were going this way, uh, it was almost as if you could write a movie about like this, you know, a family with this baby, only you just cast an adult as the baby right that it ultimately isn't where it was going but that's almost how it felt because of the way that everybody reacted was like oh no it's a baby right mm. like no it's a fucking grown man so the babysitter mm. has to deal with what baby. you know of course i'm like well it's a horror movie so this is where we're gonna go you're gonna have to change the baby you know yes. you're gonna have to deal yep. with, right. with baby stuff only it's gonna be an adult man right so she changes his diaper Mm-hmm. At some point, Pretty which sure is a powers scene, him down too. Well, she, yeah, but you don't see anything, and no. it's very chaste, and it's a PG rated movie, and it kind of did reinforce that feeling of and like, I'm okay. This is with made that. for television. <laughs> well, see, I was kind of like, I mean, if you're gonna go with an exploitation Commit movie, to the bit, yeah, 
where she's got it. You actually see her pulling like this, at least into frame. A gigantic right? yeah. diaper. The oh diaper my god! Oh shit! In it or something. <laughs> it's like oh, that's all you really have to do. Today. I don't really <laughs> want to see like the graphic thing of what's going on, uh, or his legs up in the air while she's. Changing how did him. he? Or like the classic baby diaper changing gag she gets peed on. Mm. Uh, how did right. they? How did they not do that? Yeah, right. Literally every movie that's had a baby changing scene has done that. Yeah, yeah. except this except one. You ta- and you should take all those elements and just make them horrifying. Yeah. 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 I think That's it's just going off of the idea that you're uncomfortable with the, but maybe it's because your imagination is going like, well, this is just like over the line, mm. bad taste, gross. So it's like, well, we're, so we're not going to show right. you. You're already, yeah, the situations they're in are already bad enough. We're yeah, but it just didn't it feel like far. it committed. No, <laughs> right. you got it. You, you already made it this far. Yeah. You know, come yeah, on. You made you, your decision. You already have that. Dice. You're already humiliated that actor this much. What is really yeah. like that much more? You I know? think if it would have committed, you would have heard of this movie before today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, fuck. I've heard of point. I've at least heard of the baby. Right. Oh, the I don't want to see it, but I've heard of it. Um, and then the, uh, the babysitter, uh, after changing yes. baby's diaper, baby becomes very fussy. Yeah. Because he's hungry. He wants his bottle. Yes. He wants yeah. out and he's hungry and he wants his bottle. So in a blind panic, she decides to, <laughs> what does she decide to do? Holly? <laughs> I just want to hear from Holly because she's gone comatose. <laughs> what's, so what's happened? What's, what's, what's she's still in a state of shock. She is. She's still trying to process the movie that she's. You know, she like baby is 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 holding she, her and, and she's she's nuzzling baby, yes. trying to calm him. She's like, no, I have to go get your bottle. Baby doesn't want the bottle. No, baby doesn't want. The baby bottle. doesn't want the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> baby starts pulling at the buttons on her blouse. I saw her hand going in there. Like, oh, after a minute, like, she takes over. Yeah. 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 And uh baby gets fed. <laughs> <laughs> Holly has Does he uh, though? I don't, no, no, I don't think he does. He, he just no, no, he, don't he, don't fed. he does not get fed. Get... She's not a mother. She's yeah. not no. nursing. Yeah. He doesn't get fed, but he he His he, does, F- he suckles. Well, I guess that <laughs> implies <laughs> something else that's even more twisted. <laughs> that's His just... appetite is being satisfied. Yeah. 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 Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. So and of course, then the the mom and the and the the sisters come home, or the daughters come home. Can, can we, for a second, point out the fact that the only way for that to make sense is if he is currently being breastfed? Yeah, because which we don't have any evidence of because he was well, drinking I, I out of bottles. Of assumed that was yeah. happening though. Yeah, but I wanted her to say something to clarify that, like you know, nobody feeds my baby but me, or you know, right? Because sort of there was even a moment later on when one of the sisters is outside watching him while he's in his playpen. And she insinuates that when mom gets home, he's going to get fed. Right. Mm. Yeah. And I think that may have like, why been. Why don't you just go get the bottle? Yeah. I got to wait for mom. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it yeah. was there. I think so. Yeah. But how would that even be possible? Right. When he's 21 years old. If you keep feeding a child, you keep producing. The fr- you can do that for like 21 years straight. I don't. I mean, I'm I that's, saw Game I of Thrones. Come you know, back. I'm someone, no, someone, someone, someone who I'm knows no about scientist. this, tell us. Yeah. yeah please, yeah. I'm I no scientist, no but I know that it can go for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Let's. I, oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> uh. I, I don't really want to Google and find out you're either. Gonna so. some, you're going to get some emails. <laughs> I'm not getting shit. Yeah, I think, uh, no. though, I don't know. They tend to send things right to you, Holly. So <laughs> That's I, true. Think, I think you're going to get some very specific messages. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is you can go a long time. I never said that you can go that long. I'm just uh, saying you can go a long time. I know well, that. But this that. is kind of like where the movie's uh, sweet spot is. It's kind of. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's fucking it's, gross. It's, <laughs> you can do better than that, Colin. Uh, but it's, it's that, you know, you trying to, to uh, walk in that queasy valley yes. of, you know, it's a movie about an uh, adult man in, in a play in a playpen, you know, yes. with these women. Hold on. We need to talk about the, the like the logistics of like the playpen in the crib real quick because like he's an adult man he can lay all the way down in his crib mm-hmm. so they have someone custom building them adult mm-hmm. sized cribs sure. and playpens adult sized that, crib it's I, like a it's a deck that's what yeah. it's a patio it's a porch yeah, yeah it's a, <laughs> it is a porch yeah and i'm pretty sure they made them themselves you think so? I think so. I think that was part of the comment earlier when she said that she was glad that the that the men in her life were gone because they've learned to like fend for themselves. I think they built them themselves. Well, tell me about these the other women in the house. They do they beat the shit out of the the babysitter, babysitter yeah. and yeah. kick her out. Yeah. 
Um, they slap her with a rope across the face. That's pretty yeah. fucked up. Yeah. And then it's like, don't tell anybody about this or we'll, you know, accuse you of, uh, what was it? Abuse of mental. Uh, yeah. They basically like were going to say that she was like abusing of. Right. But at that point, that was like, oh, I, they realize what's right, going exactly. on. Exactly. That yeah. was the moment I was like, okay, so they're acknowledging that there is like a mental illness here and that he's yeah. not actually a baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that they're doing this. Mm. Uh, okay, so yeah, so start. Uh, so who's who's Mama? Who is she? What yeah, you, what you, the actress. No, this or, is a character. Character traits. She's the mom. Yeah, that's all she's <laughs> really got going on. Okay, she'll she's, beat you with a rope if you get out of line. Yeah, all through, all she feels th- like she's from the fifties. She yeah. definitely she, grew up in the fifties. She's she, like, yay, why don't you get she out of here? Reminded me of like Joan Crawford or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She, she is, really but. did. I thought her look was like a very, very low rent Liz Taylor. Okay, like her yeah, her yeah. aesthetic yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, we so, know that all three of her children came from three different fathers, and right. all three fathers left her. Right. Yeah. Can't imagine why. Right. Yep. And so she's kind of held on to uh, to a baby. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you guys feel like there was some like coding uh, and like childlike aesthetic put on to the blonde daughter and the way she dressed? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. When yeah. we first yeah. see her, she's I was like, pigtails. okay, so she's doing this with both kids. Yeah, like, I, I thought yeah. so too. It just feels like there's something. Yeah. I'm wondering if she's doing it. Oh, well, I'm wondering if um. She, she looks like the Swiss Miss girl. She looks like the I, youngest I'm Brady girl. I'm wondering if the mom initially started to do the same type of thing with her, and then when baby came along, she stopped babying that one and just babied him. Maybe. Well, could Because I was like, what, what does baby serve for each one of these women? For mom, it's oh. to have a you know, eternal child, I suppose, yeah. right? She says as much, yeah. Um, for the young and the blonde girl, Alba. Yes. Alba. Mm-hmm. Alba, the Swiss Miss girl. She uh, is just always jealous of baby. Mm-hmm. She's right. the youngest one. She's always saddled with having to look after baby. And then there's the middle daughter, oh, the oldest daughter. This is uh, yeah. Jazz. No, Jermaine. Jermaine. How could you forget? I'm Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine. Who Once in the- a while, I do a TV commercial. Yes. She's got God the craziest her. 70s hair. Mm-hmm. Woo, it's lovely. Mm-hmm. And she changes it at some point for the party, and it becomes even crazier 70s hair. Yeah. She also has, like, the blackest eyes. Like Yeah, the her eyes are eyes. disturbing. Yeah, they yeah. are. <laughs> like a doll's eyes. They're, like, eye. wide I was say, like a too. doll's yeah. eyes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and she's got a lot of teeth. And her interactions with, the, uh, with Amy, the social worker, yes. at the beginning were really, like... Uh, they're off-putting. Creepy. She's really Both creepy. of them were creepy, and the you know, because that's why I was like that scene was like neither of these people are telling you like what right. they have going on. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you better. Do you work? You know what was it? Do, do you do, do you exercise? No, or no, no. It's it, it was very. <laughs> Very forward. Do you enjoy physical activity? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I like, like to go hiking in the, in the mountains. Yes. Would you yeah. like to go sometime? And you get the feeling like Amy in that situation seems like a normal person. And she's like, well, you know, I, uh, Not I, much to know about I'm me. a Scorpio and I like to, I'm naturally suspicious or whatever. And yeah. uh, I'm not going to, you know, endanger my life by going. Yes. We're naturally with cautious. Because yeah. that could be bad for my health. Yes. Um, Jermaine. What how, what's Jermaine got going on with the baby? Ugh. Holly. Uh, yeah, what do we find out later? Huh? We're going to you, Holly. We're just going to keep what, going to you. Why, why are you making me do this? Because you hate it so much. Their relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Holly is the most affected, I think. I of, think so. Of the viewers tonight. I I am I am traumatized by this fucking movie. <laughs> and it's mainly because of Jermaine. <laughs> I, yeah. We got sense. a we got a flowers in the attic situation happening. Hey, <laughs> yeah. But so much worse. She just likes to cuddle with her younger brother. That's all. Is that all that happened? That's all. Is it's that just, it? it's a strange, like, throwaway scene. Because yeah. Again, yeah, because it doesn't come back at all. Keep going. Thank from there. God it doesn't come back. Yeah, because at some point, we just cut to at night. Jermaine comes into the baby's room. He's sleeping. She's, She's in, in a, a very sheer nightgown. She wanders over to baby, drops the nightgown. And apparently climbs into the crib with them that we fade mm-hmm. out or cut to, and you're like, mm-hmm. okay, so he is sexually mature. She is uh, taking advantage of this. <laughs> never mm-hmm. dealt with again. But we know something about Jermaine, I guess. But again, that never seems to be dealt with. No. Nope. Yeah. There nope. doesn't seem to be any kind of exploration of like the psychology of that event mm. or what has been going on. 
at all. Nope. Uh, it just kind of, you know, it, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, it doesn't feel like it commits. No, this, this movie doesn't commit to anything. It, like, yeah. It's going to dangle that out there because, I mean, I guess that's one of the things, again, that you're like, well, this is what they're going to exploit with this concept. Right. And it's like, no, we're not going to exploit it. We are going to, like, at least satisfy that it, we thought about it. But that's as far but that as we yeah, yeah. It's like they're like, oh, we put all the icky stuff in the first act. Now what do we do? Uh, par- party? Birthday party? Okay. Well, the birthday party comes about because Amy uh, becomes obsessed with the baby, and she's hanging out there all the time. Her bosses are telling her, like, you got to actually go to some of your other clients. Yeah. And she's like, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go take, you know, go over to the baby's house. The um, mom, like, feels like her name is Blanche. It's not Blanche, though, right? This should be a Southern Gothic story. Um, Mama uh, becomes, like, basically territorial. Like, you know, it's like, because I think maybe Mama actually does read Amy correct. Like, maybe she does have insight into, like, what Amy is actually up to. Maybe. She, yeah. We don't know, but well, Mama said, might. Yeah, she says multiple times, like, she wants him for herself. Mm-hmm. Mama. Which comes to fruition later on. That's actually what she wants. She wants to take him. Well, there is uh, a scene <clears throat> where she uh, she seems to be, she's, like, thinking about baby. Yeah. But she's also in those scenes, like, we see in her cut, like, scenes of her husband. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh, my God, they look uh, a lot alike they look very mm-hmm. similar he looks like roddy mcdowell bit, in yeah. the uh, haunting uh, or the legend of hell house yeah with the gl- those glasses right yeah but um yeah and it keeps cutting and you're like oh no oh, she wants a replacement for her husband which is what we were thinking for most of the time yeah she's gonna try and it looks like her husband she wants the baby because it looks like her husband right yeah it was like, it was very unclear wants? it was very unclear mm-hmm. I didn't really know the direction it was gonna take but what she's saying is that no that you know uh there's something going on in that house that's well she's right actually she has an, a remarkable intuitive uh you know sense about this uh we do see a scene where the baby is tortured with a cattle pride yeah by uh goldilocks alba alba who's like poking him yeah. And basically, like, you can't walk, you know, because uh, Amy's trying to get him to stand right. like a Amy's, man. Throughout this, Amy's just like, he's smarter than you guys say he is, and he has the abilities, and you just watch. She's trying to get him to walk. She's trying to get him to go get a ball and everything. And at one point, <clears throat> after, is it Amy or Anne? No, I don't remember. I think it's Anne. Uh, after Anne leaves, uh, he looks at Mama, and I think he says, Mama. Mm-hmm. Like the first time, the first time we hear him speak in this whole thing, mm-hmm. that's when we cut to zzz, him getting shocked with a cow prod, and then Alba's just like, "You don't talk, you don't try and stand up, and do any of that." She's mm-hmm. kind of going nuts on him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then Anne's next scene is she's like, "I think I know what's going on there. Yeah. They've been basically torturing this guy over the years to stunt his growth yes. and to make him, you know, into this baby." Just, yeah, but you get more of that from that scene. Right. Just like, oh, they're trying to keep him this way. Mm. And they put him in the closet. Yeah, that never Mm -hmm. happened. Nothing ever happened with that either. Yeah, they were going to take him and put him in the closet. Then it's like, he didn't go to the closet. He went to the next time we see him, he's in the crib. Yeah. Well, and they were talking about the closet like it was some, like, Torture next chamber. level punishment yeah. yeah and so we're expecting closet. like you know the chokey from matilda to be fucking spikes something on the wall or some shit the, you know he's just gotta like stand up in a thing like yeah. this big or something like that but i gotta tell you this this is where the movie was actually working for me because yeah. i was you know trying to figure out what in the fuck was actually taking place here. yes and it's like it feels like the movie is hiding something from you and there's eventually going to be a reveal yes. which is going to explain all this and when you go back and watch the movie a second time you're going to be like oh I oh I see it all this stuff clicks into place and it makes sense. Right. So then uh mom and the sisters file a complaint against uh Ann. Mm. And so she's told to basically drop the case. You know, yes. Get off it. You can't go back there anymore. You're done. And uh, so Anne doesn't listen to this. She goes over there and she's like, you know, I'm going to fight you with the law. The only weapon that I have available to me. i fight you with the law. A very cool confrontation out front where it's the three women on top of the porch and her at the bottom. Yeah. It's well shot in that regard. I like how they set that up. Well, you don't show all your 
your cards. Well, yeah. What is she doing? She's like, the only thing I have is, uh, well, anyway. Uh, and they basically tell her to go fuck off. Mm -hmm. But then they call her up and they invite her to a birthday party <laughs> where we're going to talk to you about, you know, we want to make, make nice. We, we were rude. And, yeah. Know, come on over. So then this party happens. <clears throat> Better or worse than a than the cat birthday party from, <laughs> from the fucking Sentinel. Oh, that was that was an all time classic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that had a black and white cat and a black and white cake. Mm -hmm. I mean, it this did. One it have did that. indeed. So at the party we're introduced to a bunch of swinging hip seventies hep cats. Yep. Mm -hmm. Including yeah, Michael, some hep going around in Michael that party, Pataki all right. From uh Halloween four. Yes. Yep. Uh, he uh, is in this movie for some reason. Yeah, yeah. There was no point to that character. No, but I mean, there's you not had a lot of point to this party. Yeah, I it's, it's, a, it's a time true. filler. It feels like it really is. But Colin, he's in this movie to say that he is just a skin freak. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I <laughs> forgot about that. That's how he introduces himself to Anne. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you've got really nice skin. Yeah, yeah. She's like, what are you, a dermatologist? He's like, no, I'm a skin freak. Just a skin freak. Like, well, you were going okay like, oh, until yep. right then. All right. And Immediately crashed and Yeah. Hell, I don't think he cared. He's just like, hey, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to wear you. I'm pretty sure that's what he was going <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's like the skeevy dude at the party. He's got a, a, a tassel jacket and everything. It's That's quite the Charles lovely. Manson jacket. Yes. I think like everybody wore those back in the 70s oh, yeah. or something. Tassels were in the oh, fringe, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The fringe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, he eventually starts like hanging out with uh, Alba. Alba. Yeah. Right? Where she's interested in like baiting him into sex by having him... Uh, in, Burn his finger on a lighter, whatever. What this has the nothing to do with anything. No yeah, point. I don't it's know. All, no point. It is all distract because they they're really trying. Like you, you get the they called her over and the women called Anne over to the party for a reason. You get this as just like because they were apologetic about the whole thing. They're like, no, come over to the party and you'll see all the you know in a family situation. You'll see how good it is, which is a complete turnaround from the get out of here bitch that they were doing earlier. So you're already uneasy about why they want her to come over mm -hmm. and so we're waiting to get to that and, and at some point she's playing a mad game of darts of some dart game where you throw eight darts at a board and <laughs> i don't know what they're, they're playing. trying to get bullseyes is that it i don't know <sighs> i don't know if they were counting up the who knows and she keeps like like saying platitudes as she's like fucking throwing darts at the board it goes it's on like, for so you, long you can't lose if you don't play or i don't know she's just yeah. saying shit as she's throwing i darts. don't even take losing into consideration when yeah. you're a winner Winners, you don't yeah. even take and you're like what the, the fuck, fuck are we talking about and this goes on that dark game is goes intercut yeah. with uh uh the the skin freak and alba and you're like what are we doing here and i think this is where the movie kind of hits the brakes yes it does yeah because this should have been it slams on those brakes wow mm -hmm. and what i was thinking because they do at some point like mom gestures to one of the daughters i think uh, jermaine has to go over yes and uh I assume she's slipping her the Mickey in a drink, yes. right? But I'm not entirely sure, just based on what we saw, how that worked. I think she got yeah. her a new glass and stuck something in it. But we don't see that. We don't see that at all. Yeah. She's like, she's yeah. drinking we just it. Her, we she, just see her pouring punch. That's it, yeah. Yeah, she's it. drinking some punch. So you have to assume. She mm -hmm. puts other punch in? Like, is it a we punch that has we liquor get in a it? a coverage shot of a pill going into a glass of punch. Yeah. And they're like, okay, so what's going on here? So in my mind, I was sitting there going like, oh, okay, so this is going to be like some deal where they uh, dope her up and they put her in some compromising position. They take photos of it and then they blackmail her. And basically then she doesn't come after them with the law. Right. And they don't know? have to kill anyone. <laughs> right. But actually, they're going to dope her up or get her drunk or yeah. something, take her dope down her. in the basement, tie her up until the party's over. And then kill her with an axe. And then murder her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for them, the baby sees this all go down. And he gets down into the basement. Yeah. That wily kid. And aside from breaking. <laughs> wily grown man. Yep. A yep. bottle of uh, pickled uh, eggs. Yeah. I don't know what else oh, that actually served. So gross. And we're, we're like pickled beets disgusting. or something like that. Which, yeah, he's yeah, eating just, them in the background, disgusting. getting it all over his face oh. while she's trying to like get out of her, uh, you know, the, the bonds. Restraints, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. 
with the saw and the, all. And, and again, when we see like the hedge trimmer and all this stuff, you're like, oh my God, something's going to happen here. Nope. Nope. No, mm-hmm. no. No, mm-hmm. she she cuts off all her restraints. That's what yeah. happens. Yeah. It's, it's almost in real time watching her crawl <laughs> over to the saw. A lot of this movie is real time. <laughs> this is where we get into the real time of what's going on. Uh, crawl over we, to the saw and try and cut her restraints off. You should only do that if you're going to commit like start to finish real time movie. Yeah, it's know? also real time of baby just eating beets off the floor. That's yep. just in the most so disgusting gross. way possible. Yeah, I did re- read somewhere. In my research where I was trying not to spoil the movie, which I didn't. I don't know yeah. shit about this movie. <laughs> but what I did find out was uh, somebody said that in the original release, oh, we don't know if this is true or not. Right. That in the original release, you heard the actor, what's his name? Manzi. Manuel Manzi. Yeah. David uh, Manzi. Doing all the goo goo gaga stuff right. himself. It was all him. But apparently in this version that we watched, it's been dubbed over, so he actually sounds like a baby. Yes. Yeah. Uh, For better or worse, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they both don't sound like great options, you know? it's just all, it's going to be creepy either way. Yeah. Because if he sounds like a baby, that's fucking weird. I don't think this version makes sense. I think it makes less sense. I would like because to hear. That he actually does sound like a if baby. If he's a grown man, he should probably sound like a right. grown he man. Should he shouldn't have sound like a baby. Vo- that doesn't make sense. Vocalizations of a grown man. But, I mean, it's, you know, aesthetically, maybe the baby was better. I don't know. I don't, I've never probably seen the other version. A, I have no a, idea. a little bit more creepiness to it yeah. in this one, I would say. That he sounds like a baby. Yeah. That's yeah. disturbing. I think they're both disturbing in different ways. Exactly. Yeah. Um... And he's just like, stop it. You stop it. <laughs> Sean, we just had a discussion last week about Knock how much off. we hate sounds like that. And Knock you're doing it, it to our listeners. <laughs> he's just trying to give. Well, they didn't see the movie or maybe they did. I'm but, trying to give them an oral yeah. experience as to I know, what but happened. But last week when we watched I Drink Your Blood, we had a very extensive conversation <laughs> oh, about how annoying did. we find that to be. And you're doing it to our listeners right eat? now. I can just slurp right here. Slurping, you're Let's move on. Let's move on. You are breaking me tonight. Uh, so, so Anne escapes uh, from her captors. No thanks to Baby, mostly. Right, but she takes Baby. Yes. Gets him in a car, and away they go. And then the movie shifts the focus of its protagonists, which was I did not see coming. No. Sure. Yeah, it's a yeah. twist. Colin, yeah. they got to make it to that hour and. 24 minutes. It, it, it's just strange that you were like, like, okay, so now we're in the, the, the point of view of mama trying to get her baby back. Did you feel kind uh, of okay? She's not. It feels like two days go by where she's just looking out a window going, <sighs> she took baby. And the daughters are trying to console her. And like, no police have shown up. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, mama? It, it, it doesn't make any sense because like we talked about, if if it if it was a situation where they were the myth of the town, right? And like no one really like understood their situation, it yeah, sure, she'd be like alone in that, right? How did judging by all the people that were at his birthday party, how does she not round up an angry mob to be like, let's go get my baby back? You right, know? Yeah. Or at least have some more urgency with just the three of them to go get baby. Mm-hmm. Right. Because at this point you could probably they've only what? tied her up and put her in the basement, you could probably skirt that a little bit because she kidnapped your child. Yeah. There's probably an equal footing of blame going on there, but she also stole your child. Yeah. And you can prove that Mm -hmm. because she's got the child. Like, I think those three have more of a case here than she does. Right. Like, first they've got to find her, then I'm going to kill her. You know? Uh... That's mama. That's yeah, what she says. But, it's but all, she just—they just wait around in the all, house. Yeah, They're like waiting for the ransom note, which eventually does come, because uh, Anne puts baby in a suit and tie and gets not him, in a corner, but in a suit and tie. <laughs> and gets some kind of waiting stand. To, up. I was gonna say, how long have you been waiting to use yeah. that since yeah. the, the opening since credits? Since it happened, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. basically. Wow, Sean. Wow, wow. How do you how do you not think of that? And come on. Uh. So. Uh, that's right. He was never in a corner in the whole. Yeah, no. But she is making a. Anne does have. He was so in a closet though. She takes yep. him to the uh, to her house, where we have established that construction workers are putting in an in ground pool. Mm-hmm. Indeed, and that pool is referenced at least four times, so we know foreshadowing something's going to happen with the pool. Oh yeah, they make it clear. Uh, eventually. 
uh, and, uh, uh, Mama and her two daughters do. They're like finally out for blood. They're like, well, let's go finally. get my baby back. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I guess the thing is, is like, we're, are we supposed to feel sympathy for them? I mean, did you turns- feel like, oh, I, you know, I really want them to get baby back. Like, maybe it's not a good thing that that he's with Anne. I think, I think at this point, the filmmakers, I think they do that because they know the ending. And I think they want to try and make that turn because of how the movie ends. Yeah. I think that's, that's specifically to. why. I th- yeah. yeah. I think that's why they're specifically doing it. Yeah. Because to us, it feels just strange. If, yes. And then a lot of choices that they start making at this point are start also being strange. strange. Yes. Um, but basically, they do track Anne down to her house. So they're outside of her house, which looks like the house from Waxwork. Yeah, uh, does, yeah. yeah it does. We should have looked mm-hmm. up and see if that was actually where it was filmed. It's and not. then. Each so then they all three of them split up and try to gain entry into the house. Right. Um, in real time. Yeah. So <laughs> real time. So uh, 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 Jermaine goes in first, sneaks around a bit. And it's got that nice seventies lighting, mm-hmm. of, like it looks like a seventies TV movie. Yes. Um, it looks like trilogy of I mean, all the part. coverage. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. All the coverage in this. And this could have been a TV movie. Yeah. Um. But then Jermaine, I don't know, turns a corner and and then we don't follow her anymore. Mm-hmm. Even though she has she has a gun, yeah, mm-hmm. out she brings a gun. Uh, then Alba goes in, and something startles Alba, and so then Mama goes in, and of course now we're suspecting that like, well, there must be something really fucked up going on in this house. Yes, and I kind of, I guess I was thinking that there was something strange going on with Anne already. Yeah. But I didn't know what was strange. We were trying to figure it out. Yeah. We were kind of shouting our thoughts at the screen at this point. We were like, I well, yeah, bet she's, we all, we all felt we she all, was definitely yeah. hiding something. We all knew that something was going on. And something especially there revealed. was, there was a moment when they're talking, when Anne's talking to her mother-in-law about the pool and she says, we're going to hold off for a couple days. And her mother-in-law says, are you sure you want to do this? aren't we just going to be just as bad as they are? And yeah. she said, no, we're nothing like them. So I was like, okay, something, there's some weird shit is happening right, right now. Yeah. Something, they have plans. Yeah. Right. And it feels like they're going to be similar to what their the other three are doing already because yeah, that's why cause she, she asks her. Cause she, she establishes that she wants to help him develop yes. and, you know, become a grown man. But then when she says that, you know, aren't we just going to be just like them? She's like, no, we're nothing like them. Mm. Like, well, why would she be asking that? There's right. something off. Something oh, doesn't right. add up. That is the last scene where we see her before the, the yeah. point yeah. of view switches. Yeah. yeah. You're right. So yeah. it's like, what is she up to? Aha, we're not going to tell you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for another 15 minutes. Yes. Of people crawling around in the dark, which, uh, you know, actually, the, the length of that, I know you were like, when is this going to get. I that was the, uh, you actually broke the spell for me because I was like I didn't notice how long it was taking it until was, you, you said it. Then I was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was kind of like, "Oh my god!" Was it the music? It. Was it the? I don't know. I downshift <laughs> when I watch movies from the era, you know, or something like it, it, it's how you know. can enjoy. We can all enjoy Dracula in nineteen seventy two. Yeah, that chase music that happens yeah, in nineteen yeah, seventies. Yeah. The pace doesn't really bug me all that much because I guess I was still trying to work out in my head what the fuck was, was going, going on. on. And then once you said something, see, like, I'm convinced oh, you were. This is taking see, a while. I'm, convinc- <laughs> I'm convinced that you weren't actually just paying attention. You were just thinking. Yeah. So you didn't know right. this. If you've been like, paying attention, you would have been bored out of your mind. Yeah, I think that happens a lot in those type of movies. But that, in in some way, that I feel like they're working at that point. Sure. Because I'm actively engaged and not just kind of <laughs> sitting there going like, "When's the fucking chase scene going to be over?" Yeah, eventually these guys are going to punch each other out, and you know, even though they're flying through buildings and knocking shit away. Ooh. You know, are you knocking Man of Steel right now? Yes, I was. <laughs> uh, That's so, fair. <laughs> um, but uh, so then there's a, a shock surprise. Well, no, I mean, uh, uh, when Mama comes in, it turns out that uh, uh, Jermaine He's is dead. dead. Yeah, bleeding at the top of the stairs, and yep. then uh, not uh, surprised. Alba comes staggering out of the a dark with a knife in her back. She's dead. And you're like, surprised. who's what the fuck is going on? And then. Um, Anne comes out with a fucking. She came out with a hatchet, right? Yeah, she had the hatchet. Yes, mm-hmm. and she's chasing Mama around the house, and eventually Mama runs into Mother-in-law, and we're like, yeah. "Okay, so how's this going to shake out?" Yeah. Well, Mother-in-law is also trying to kill her. Yeah, and eventually they do take her out in the fucking backyard with her daughters, put her in the 
pool, cover oh, up, and you're yeah. like, okay, that's all there. That's I guess uh, that's where we're going with it. Yeah. Killed Mama, buried her. Mama doesn't know what's happening. There's no kind of like moment where Mama like is like, oh my god, you're even more fucked up than I am, right? Yeah. Mama never realizes it. No, no. She, yeah, there is no recognition of what's going on from anybody at this point. We don't get it. I mean, the the end game. Mama doesn't get it. Yeah, there should be some sort of like realization that on the character level. Yes, yeah. on the character yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't happen. No. It's just like, nope, they kill mama. Yeah. Killed them all. Why? Holly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holly, please explain. Well, this is where where we find out what happened to the husband. Yes. Dun dun dun. Husband is also a giant man baby. Yes, he is. With a bandage on With his a head. With a bandage on his head, yeah. Oh. See yeah, how come? It, apparently he had an accident. That's all we really know. Because when when she's doing the slideshow, when she's doing the slideshow, she says something like, it should have been me. It was was my fault anyways. And that's all we really get. We don't really know. Yeah. yeah. We don't know what exactly it was. Right. But something happened. He's also a man baby. So she likes to collect these. She she wanted him to have a friend. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So this is where I, uh, we need to unpack the end of this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's, the way it looks is that uh, in the end of the movie, she's got her own nursery. And so she's bringing baby to play with her husband. So they, they have, you know, they can entertain each other. And she has two of everything. Like she was preparing for this. That's yeah. So yeah. fucked about it. There's two cribs in there. Yeah. Yep. But is there anything in her character or in her dialogue that I've forgotten in the rest of the movie that would tell you that, uh, she wanted anything other than to actually, because uh, you think she's the hero of the movie, that she mm-hmm. wants to help him, you know, escape from these people and become an adult. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. That is said specifically. Yeah, why did like she want him to try and walk? If her ultimate goal is Was to this. just have her be a, a friend for her husband. Yeah. I think that what she wants to do is I think it would be easier to rehabilitate Baby so that Baby can also help rehabilitate her husband, mm. which I think is the ultimate goal. You're putting a lot into this so. movie that is not there. I don't think there. so. I think she wa- just I think, want friends? I think she wanted to prove that Baby could be rehabilitated so that he would be taken from his family that are stunting him so that she could take him back to her house. And this, keep that him was her, as Baby. That was her way of getting him away from his family. Okay. Mm. And just keep him as yes. Baby. And yeah, that's she why had the, the mother sa- yes. asks. She Don't you think same, will be the same? She as had them? the same motives, but okay. she needed to. Tr- she needed a reason to get him out of the family's house. I'll go with that. That was it. Okay, so she just wants a friend for her incurable yes. man, baby husband. Yes, she wants to double up on the Ugh. on the home care she's going to have to do on the giant diaper she's going to yep. have to change. Yep. Jesus, what a fucked up lady. So is that, yeah, is it freeze is frame some? on them and they're all in the pool together? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's where it gets even more creepy. But I mean, I guess I was trying to figure out like, uh, you know, does she think that, you know, she's, you know, when she first comes into the situation and she's like, you know, he's a man baby. And like, I want to actually be around this because it's like, she's around it at home. So is it a mm-hmm. case of, you know, somehow, you know, can I cure uh, her or him, and then by extension, use whatever I learned from this mm-hmm. to cure my husband. I don't think so. Well, I that's think not she what the movie. The movie saying them. she just wants another, you know, right. uh, another a friend. But there's but Some the implications of, of that, that are creepy because in the end, she's taking these two grown men into a pool. You know, they're all swimming together, and she's hopping around between them, and it's like okay. Like what? It, what? What are we? What are we it's going really for fucking, here? It's really fucking weird because you, you get. She to definitely last, has some sort of like fetish involved. Yeah, you with get this. to the last ten minutes of the movie and you're like, wait, who am I rooting for? What am I wanting no to one. happen right not, now? No one. Yeah, what am I clear. wanting to happen right now? It's not clear. Well, like, there is a no clear en- bomb. It's this whole town is the best. There is thing that no happens. ending to this movie that I would ever like. 
And uh, hmm. mother-in-law is sitting on the edge of the pool, you know, reading smoking her. with a look on her face, like, <sighs> like it all, like my family, yeah, happy <laughs> like the plan got... all came together, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe she's that's the, the most thing. evil one of them all. I have a feeling. Maybe uh, mother-in-law was hoping that there would be, uh, you know, an offspring, that there'd be another, you know, that there would be a kid involved, now, and finally, now she has the whole nuclear family. See, you know. The mother-in-law Ew. was the other reason why I thought that the whole point was to rehabilitate the husband because she wants her son back. Right. That was the other reason I went that way of thinking because I'm like, that's why she's helping her. Because she's like, I want my son back as well. That, you want your husband. I want my that's son. That's what would make sense. Right. The whole rehabilitation theory. That's right. what would make th- sense. But that's not what's happening. Okay. Why? I just thought of something. Why did you put him in her husband's suit? Right. Why did that happen? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't get It doesn't that. make any sense. Knowing the end of the movie, yeah. I yeah. don't understand. Because at that the time, psychology. we all thought he was dead and that she was just going to replace her husband with the baby. Because right. the whole, that's the whole, where it seemed like it was going. The whole point of that was to, to prove that her rehabilitation plan is working to make him look like he's dressing as a man. He's standing like a man. He's It's making him look like her plan is working. And that's what's going to lure the family to her house so she can so get, she get rid can, of them. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like the most. Yeah. The best way to, mm-hmm. to do that. It is a plot to get them and to kill them. Yeah. I mean, based on what we've seen, I guess that's what we have to go with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically. Yeah. 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 Basically. Hmm. Because well. then later on, he's not in a suit and he's getting floaty toys. <laughs> so yes. True. there you go. She just wants to have a threesome with baby men. Uh, yeah. Geez. All right. We're done. <laughs> I like how. I mean, uh, come on. Holly, that's implied. That is, is it not? That Holly's is... the most disturbed by this movie, but also Holly's just like, well, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, just, it's just laying it all out. Uh-huh. I was disturbed by the fact that they were somehow getting like clothes that looked like baby clothes, but for the size of a well, grown man. Yeah. 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 Like They're just jumpers and rompers and shit. Yeah. But that knit like sweater. Yeah. That, like, that was like a cardigan yeah, that went yeah. over that. Well, and the they onesie. Well, they don't the have onesie. jobs. So yeah. Just that's what they do. Yeah. They do. There is a scene where they are sitting around all knit. Yeah. Hey, hey yeah. Holly, she no, does TV true. commercials from time to time. Okay. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's very lucrative. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know you're curious. Listener. I think that's the baby. Uh, if you should watch the baby. And we've been playing coy. And I don't actually know how this is going to come down. Actually, I pretty, I think I got it. I think I got it. But okay, we'll see. No. Uh, but first of all, we're going to read some of your mail. And after that, we'll tell you whether or not we recommend the movie. So first of all, let's bring out the star of the hour. Our mailman, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He pulled the mail out of his diaper. <laughs> Igor, you're gross. <laughs> just, just put it back. Just, just, uh, just no, we don't need do it. We, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You, I'm glad you're handling it, Colin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got powder on it. He's got. He's, he's been changed. At least yeah. he's dry. Yeah. His pacifier for his one snaggle tooth. Aww. It's coming in. <laughs> Poor little Igor. Snaggle, snaggle. All right. Well, we should let people know how they can get involved in this part of the show. This is the interactive portion. You are invited to join the Freak Show family by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About the baby. The baby tonight. Leamy72 writes in and says, I'm going into this one blind. I saw it listed on Shutter. I wasn't sure I wasn't too sure about it, but now I have to so I can listen along. I love the show. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. There's been a lot of playing along lately. It's, I know yeah, this is it's awesome. been pretty great. Play I love so it. On this one, you're finding out about this at about the same time we are. <laughs> uh Novato Judoka writes in. He says, Well, I just finished the movie. And I didn't see that coming. I'll tell you that. This made me feel as weird and as uncomfortable as society. This is the kind of film that if made in Japan, we'd mark off as, well, it's Japan. Saying it it was the 70s doesn't cut it for this one. Also, shout out to Michael Pataki for smoking the world's smallest doobie. (laughs) Yeah. He was uh, Drago's spokesman in Rocky IV, for those of you (laughs) who aren't Halloween IV uh, fans. Yeah, yeah, he got that thing yeah. down to the nub. Just. Yeah. yeah. That thing was all paper. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's some amateur hour shit, man. Mm-hmm. 
uh, B movie poster vault writes in and says, I'm fairly certain that at least one member of the Saturday cinema crew owns a copy of the baby, but incredibly creepy poster. Oh, but the incredibly creepy poster has meant that it's been voted down each time it's been mentioned. And we've watched toys are not for children and poor pretty Eddie more than once. Yeah. Huh. I'm intrigued by both of those titles. I know. I'm not entirely mm, sure that yeah. I know yeah. poor pretty Eddie. But there you go. That sounds like a double feature with Alice Sweet Alice. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Alice Sweet Alice, poor, <laughs> poor pretty, pretty Eddie. Eddie. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called I Drink Your Blood. Brett Williams writes in and says, I recently subscribed to Shudder and thought to check and see if this one is available. And it was. So I'm going nice. to watch this tonight for the first time. See the movie before I listen to your podcast. We'll see if it enhances the experience. There you go. Thanks for playing along. Well, Brett has been playing along. Yeah. I think he's going through the entire back catalog. Yeah. So That's an uh, undertaking. Yeah. That's so a lot. Thank you very much many for listening. What was the last one? He said that uh, it was a it was a roller coaster. I know. Uh, yeah, he, I know who killed me was in there. Yeah, he talked about Cemetery Man and Possession. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was it, on a rough it was, it was don't, yeah, don't yeah. open until Christmas. He said that was the one that right, may yeah. not have. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of don't open till Christmas, <laughs> uh, Ghost Freaking Talking says by oh we put up some photos uh, uh, from the movie and uh, one of them was uh, the model being menaced by the race uh, yes. razor uh, he said by this picture alone made me look up the movie and watch it this morning I have to say this is not a bad schlock film I've seen worse come out of this podcast like monster in the closet and con air <laughs> hey I'm not responsible for any of those nope, nope. none of us are sweet That's true uh, those are dark, oh, I will recommend time. monster in the closet so I you know can't help you on that were one. you here for that I could have been coloring. You could have been coloring. There you go. Uh, that's a callback. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, that's a classic. Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, Bill Hayner says, I tried watching this on YouTube yesterday. I only made it about halfway through, though. You guys are absolutely right. It has some entertaining scenes, but it doesn't make a lick of sense. I'll try finishing <laughs> it up tonight. I'm curious how it will, quote unquote, end. Whoever has that copy on YouTube is getting a gigantic spike in views this week. Right. <laughs> All right, so this is how we are a part of the zeitgeist. <laughs> I saw, so Quentin Tarantino runs the New Beverly Cinema in yeah. Uh, yeah. Los Angeles, and guess what's on the yes, calendar? He, right. are, you, are you fucking oh, kidding no. me? No. He's going to have the Finger only... Finger on the balls! <laughs> He's going to have the only 35 millimeter print of that movie. Oh, Don't open my God. Christmas. Jesus. So. All, All right. those folks are listening to our episode, probably. We beat them to it. Or yes. after. All right, yeah. well, I'm going to look up the calendar, let them know, find out when that's playing, and like re-promote that. <laughs> episode <laughs> and that night we uh, first. well dave forbes says that uh, i didn't care for this movie but i enjoyed your episode you got to take the rough the rough with the smooth i guess and to answer your question i prefer to watch before the episode whether i've seen it before or not so thanks for the link michaela it's not your fault the movie was a turd <laughs> speaking of smooth <laughs> Manzi shaved his entire body for this movie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to play the baby. <laughs> that poor man. Were you I could not there? ignore that segue. How long were you sitting there on that factoid? Uh, How long? I, I could not. I was going to bring it up at some point, but that segue had to get it in there. <laughs> shaved his entire body. Oh wow. My Continue God. on. Thank you for playing along, sir. That is quite the Thank commitment you. to play along with every movie, whether you've yeah. seen it or not. That yes. is a That's great. commitment. Bravo. Uh, Simon Carter writes in and says that we're still talking about don't open till Christmas says, uh, this movie was just about as fucked up enough to distract from how bad the script was. It made no ducking sense whatsoever, mm -hmm. but as always, I'm drunk dialing. Oh, damn it. I didn't do the thing. Uh, uh all right. it's all right. you guys, but we'll as always, I'm drunk dialing period. You guys to let you know that I kind of liked it period. Even if it did suck. No period. <laughs> I think that was kind of our thoughts. Like, I kind of liked it, even though it wasn't good. Yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> but we all recommended it. No, yeah. we didn't. It was two and two. No, I right. No, I think I we all, all did. Right even there. though we were like, yeah, it's not great, but. Yeah. I thought it was fun. You know? There it was horrible, but it was fun. Yeah. Horrible, but fun. Yeah. Will we watch it again and our eyes will open? Uh, we were talking about uh, what, I mean, what else are there as far as British slasher films go? Because we said it was Slaughter High mm -hmm. and uh, Don't Open Till Christmas. Jacob Laws says Peeping Tom. Okay. Yeah. I heard of it. It's not a slasher movie, though. No? No. no it's like a suspense thriller, I would say. Yeah. It's a pretty good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. 
Yeah. I dig that movie. Mm -hmm. But it is not a, I wouldn't call it a slasher movie. It's more like, uh, I wouldn't even say it's like Psycho. It is like Psycho in the way that from that era, mm -hmm. it was one of the first movies, I think, that put you subjectively in the perspective of a killer mm -hmm. and therefore became like morally objectionable. Sure. Just that mm -hmm. whole idea, you know, at that time, it's like, wait, you're, you were taking sides with the killer? You are the killer. Yeah. And, uh... Uh -oh. Apple Leva. There you go. Apple Leva says, oh, we were talking about uh, Caroline Monroe mm -hmm. uh, was in Don't Open Till Christmas, and we mentioned a bunch of other movies that she had been in. Yes. Apple Leva says, uh, let's not forget she was in The Spy Who Loved Me. Well, so that's guy, true. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I believe you. I just... But we have not have no covered memory. that on no. our show. Yeah, I think I the other ones that. we were saying she yeah. was in movies that we had done. Right. I think lot. we mentioned that before, way before, probably in Captain Kronos or something like episode. We mentioned her yeah. history at that point. Well, she's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But primarily genre stuff. Yes. And a lot of she freak and, shows. She movies. in your book, don't you have the, the hammer? Oh, yeah. The hammer glamour. The hammer glamour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We haven't done Maniac, though. But it feels like we need to do Maniac. I, I'm kind, right. Honestly, I've never picked it because I assumed it had already been done. I, we have not done I'm Maniac. I'm kind of shocked not, Maniac no. had not been done. Yeah. yeah. So Maniac is waiting movie. in the wings at some point. I guess so. Um, so now we are finally there, listener. The point, the part of the episode you've been waiting for, we're going to find out what each one of us thought about it. Do we recommend tonight's movie, The Baby? Colin. Yes, Sean. What do you think of The Baby? <laughs> <sighs> that's mm -hmm. a tough one um okay so my experience watching it was i was kind of under the thrall of the movie uh i was trying to work it out it didn't disturb me as much as it uh disturbed as, much as you wanted to yeah 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 <laughs> i was not completely grossed out by it i i don't know holly holly was and i think michaela was uh because they were audibly like <laughs> this is the most sick and disgusting thing and i'm like yeah, I've seen a lot of this stuff, so I don't know what that says about me. My tolerance is pretty low or high or whatever for the weird and the unusual weird because I myself am teat sucklers of the world. Weird and unusual. What was that line? Yeah. It's like, what do you expect to say? Nothing's happened with your his uh, your tit the, in his mouth. Your goddamn tit in his mouth. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, but here's the thing. I guess, like, uh, in my watching of it, I was hanging a lot of whether or not it was going to be good on the ending. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, okay, you've got me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I like that sensation of not knowing where we're going. So if you can land it, like, I think you would win. You were going to win me over. Right. Uh, I don't think it did. I think the ending was a complete bust. It's like, okay, your husband's another baby. And she just wants a playmate for her husband. And it was like, Maybe a little more clarity. Okay. Or dedication to a specific thought at the end of this would have been. Yeah, I don't better. know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of was like, I really don't. Uh, yeah, it didn't land for me. It kind of like the whole thing was like, I, so I, I, it felt like I was waiting for something that never happened. And then it's like, well, then I can't recommend the movie because I think you're going to have the same experience. It's like, I'm going to save you sitting through it. Uh, to get to that point and then go like, because I mean, it does have uh, stretches where, I mean, not a lot by today's pacing. Anyway, it's like, uh, there's not a lot happening. It is very, I think it would have been a better movie. And you probably, like I said, you would have heard of it before if it had been more of an exploitation film, but it's not, even though it's dealing with like an exploitation, like ripe, subject yeah it's like they just kind of want to dip their toe into it because they don't want to be offensive yeah you know even though i think like everybody basically says the movie is offensive uh in a lot of ways like this is a thing from the 70s and like we don't think like that anymore like what are you talking about they were making it to be a horror movie in the 70s and thought like just the implication alone i suppose would freak people out um i think it should have committed and gone you know way over the line another gear yeah <laughs> um so yeah i guess I, yeah i was kind of disappointed i'm very disappointed actually in the baby um even though i like the faces of all the people in it they right? all looked weird yeah they all look like uh, skulls with skin stretched over them and bizarre all very watchable I'm yeah, like, yeah 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 i want yeah. you 
So the casting director, yeah. like at least they picked out interesting faces. Yep. But I'm going to say you can skip the baby. Holly, what'd you think? Well, <laughs> <laughs> here's my scholarly paper on why you should not watch this movie. A couple of weeks ago, we were talking about how there's bad movies, but then there's probably like the absolute worst movies that have just been lost to like the pages of time because they're so bad. No one even bothered to keep them around. Mm. This should have been one of those movies. Mm. So I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty fucking annoyed at Shudder for bringing this to light for everybody right now. Cause no one should watch this pile of shit movie. I understand what you're saying that like they, if they're, if they're going to do it, they should have gone with the gusto and, you know, actually made an exploitation movie. I get what you're saying. I'm really glad they didn't because I'm already totally skeeved by this movie. It fucking sucked. I hated everything about it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It was awful. No one should watch this. <laughs> Michaela. So sometimes seeing is believing. And I think you got to see it to believe it. I think this movie is just... <laughs> you got it. Like... I, I, something about me is I, I love terrible reality television. I love like my strange addiction and life 2.0 and like these weird people that obviously have like mental issues that are being exploited for my entertainment. I watch that shit all the time. It would be out of character for me to not recommend something like that in a movie form. <laughs> I love lifetime movies. This is the most lifetimeiest lifetime movie. Everything they put out now could not stand up to this because they don't go that sleazy with it. So, I think you got to see it. Sorry, I'm I'm interrupting your review, but it just occurred to me something we Mm -hmm. didn't talk about in the movie. Mm -hmm. What'd you think about the scene where they actually went to the like daycare center for the mentally challenged Uh, kids? I didn't really get what the point of that was. Other than to like say, well, like this is where he would be going. Right. But they use actual like kids. Yeah. I mean, like it was just like a. I mean, not really, because it was just a daycare and they were just doing normal daycare things. It, it wasn't it like it could have been, and I was nervous that it was going to be. I was too. I was just like, oh, I don't feel comfortable yeah. with this. But I mean, just, yeah. it, it didn't really have any bearing on the movie. So no, it didn't yeah, really it, did, it, it didn't. It didn't do anything. But I was skewed. I was like, this could go weird really quick, and yeah. I was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that would that clearly felt like we got to make it pad for time. Like a lot of other things is. I'm that be like your they interjected your reality yeah. into the middle. Right. Of I'm the glad movie. he wasn't there with them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't mix. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not a good movie, but you know, is there another movie like this that you've seen? Fuck no. Thankfully like not. so, there's uh, you know, I think it was uh, check Pink that box. Flamingos. Yeah, and there's somebody in a in a cradle in pink flamingos. I think so. <laughs> Sorry, that movie is. Yeah, I remember for other reasons, but uh, yeah, check that Isn't box, that man. John Waters movie? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's with what's her that's name? like the Divine. John Waters Divine. movie. Divine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see that movie. Mm-hmm. I've heard of this movie. I don't want to no. see yeah. this movie. No. 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 Nope. Nope. I will so, skip that. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Uh, I think. If anything we have said here like stands out to you as like something you should watch, go watch it, Sean. <sighs> God damn it, baby. I think they could have done so much more and I think I wanted so much more. I think that this movie should have because that first like 30 minutes, maybe something like that. That was just that's where like the disturbing parts that Holly and Michaela are talking about where they're just like, I I, I am so disturbed right now. I feel gross. It made me feel gross as well. Um, but it d- d- boy, does it just stop when it hits that party and a certain parts in the middle of this movie um man i really wish they could have kept ratcheting it up um when they're walking around the house i got the distinct feeling like we're gonna get her husband as a baby like i'm pr- i knew where it was gonna go i'm just you like called it pretty early yeah, yeah um yeah and i'm just like damn i really wish it was gonna be something i couldn't have like seen coming or i uh, uh an ending that would have been worth it colin i agree i don't think they stuck the landing um i think i think there was so much opportunity to do so um Damn, but is it is it weird enough of an oddity for I'm going to say quote unquote normal people because I don't think we're normal <laughs> um, for normal people to but I also got to think like to the listeners of this show are they normal either no. are they going to watch this and think <laughs> about like I haven't seen anything like that before and it's I don't think the baby quite does it for a recommendation it could have it really could have and there's definitely some parts that'll make you feel icky, but I think you can you could probably find something like this somewhere that's going to give you what you want from it. 
Um, the baby disappoints. It really does disappoint. I'm very mad at it for doing so, especially after that trailer and all that's been built up in mine over my mind over two years. I'm disappointed in you, baby. <laughs> I'm putting baby in the closet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on the baby. That's I think that's it. Um, by the way, this movie has a 93 <laughs> percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I just want to point that out. Yeah, I'll be on the right side of history on this one. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Wow. But, uh, yeah, there. That's that's the baby. All right. Well, that's uh, that's shocking. Yeah, <laughs> surprising. And I did not figure it right. I thought it would have been Michaela. Well, I knew Holly was no. Yeah. I thought Michaela was no. I thought Michaela, uh, Sean would be yes. Mm. But uh, you know, hey, I think you guys are too used to the weird shit we watch to realize how much of a spectacle <laughs> this is. Maybe, I think you're too sanitized it. to this movie. Maybe. maybe it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, well. All right. Uh, so there you go. I guess you check it out and judge for yourself. So next week we're going to be entertaining you with another film. This one's going to be chosen by Holly. Holly, what are you? Uh, what are you going to do for us next week? Uh, next week we're we're going to mellow out a little bit. Oh shit! We're going to watch a movie that you've probably seen. We've talked about it several times the past few weeks. We're going to watch Christine. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. John have, Carpenter. John Carpenter's Christine. Returns I have never seen Saturday. Christine. What? Mm. Never seen Christine. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, but we're getting to that point. You got to see the whole filmography. All right. I so, uh, Chris, John Carpenter's Christine. Do you have to say that whenever you talk about the movie? John Carpenter's Christine? Mm. Like, is that the I title? think he's I think earned it, it. I think it helps. Yeah. I think out of respect. I think that's what's on the. Uh, that is yeah. the title, right? Mm-hmm. It's John okay. Carpenter's Christine. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's always John Carpenter's yeah. something. Uh, next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show we hope you'll join us and until then ladies and germs the basement is going dark